Good afternoon and a warm autumn welcome to each of you on this very special day in the life of the university. I'm Sue McClinton, chair of the UNC Asheville Board of Trustees. It is wholly appropriate that among us today are several generations of those of you who have both given and received from the university over its 77 years of history. In dedicating this wonderful new facility, we thank the citizens of North Carolina for making it possible. We honor those with the vision that today has become a reality, and we charge those who will use this union in the months and years ahead to be good stewards so that future generations will enjoy the same opportunities. On behalf of my fellow members of the university's Board of Trustees, I welcome you to this joyous dedication and help us celebrate the day. Thank you. Good afternoon. Chancellor Highsmith, in his book, The University of North Carolina at Asheville, The First 60 Years, opened with a dedication to A.C. Reynolds, J.J. Stevenson, Jr., Virginia Bryan Schreiber, and all the others who, in the early days, kept the dream alive when there was nothing but the dream. Today, we stand in the middle of that dream and celebrate the accomplishments of this great university. Without doubt, this is an extraordinary building. A buzz every hour with the sounds of students studying, playing, laughing, working, and leading. What you see before you is the culmination of four decades' work by a university that has always put students first. Forty years ago, on a cold February afternoon in 1964, Chancellor Highsmith presided over the opening of the university's first student center, Lipinski Hall. He noted at the time that the opening of Lipinski would transform campus life, and it did. However, the growth that occurred in the following years, especially as a result of joining the University of North Carolina system, led Chancellor Highsmith and the trustees to build a new, larger center on this site less than 20 years after the opening of Lipinski. The new center offered more space, a more open plan. Upon his retirement in 1984, the trustees honored the university's first chancellor by bestowing his name on the center for which he was so proud. Amazingly, by the end of the 1980s, less than 10 years after the Highsmith University Center opened, in response to more growing pains, a committee was formed to plan an addition to the center. The addition resulted in a new building, the University Dining Hall. Nonetheless, by the mid-1990s, it was even more apparent that the Highsmith Center still needed a significant addition. A new committee with strong student involvement developed a plan for the building that you see today. Unfortunately, funding was not available at the time, but thanks to the support of the General Assembly and the people of North Carolina with the 2000 higher education bond referendum, the dream became a reality. As I stand here in the middle of this extraordinary university union, thankful to all of the men and women who have worked so hard over these many years to make this union a reality, I can't help but thinking of that crowd assembled four decades ago at Lipinski Hall who felt that the opening of that first center would be transforming and would mark a turning point in the university's history. In just two short months, the new Highsmith University Union has already begun to transform this campus. I think we too are present at what will be seen as one of the great turning points in UNC Asheville's history, a turning point of which our founders could only dream. It's with great pleasure that I introduce to you the man whose leadership helped to ensure that this great union became a reality, Chancellor James H. Mullen. Dr. Mullen. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. You've had a, an almost unique role in the development of this building, and all of us appreciate your contributions very, very much. It is a great pleasure and a, and a great privilege for me to join in welcoming you to a long-awaited and much-anticipated day. And as I do so, I welcome in a special way President Broad, Adelaide Key of the Board of Governors, 
Representatives Wilma Sherrill and Bruce Goforth and Susan Fisher and Senator Tom Apodaca, our trustees, Sue McClinton, Janice Brummett, Wells Greeley, George Groom, Mike Tanner, Al Whitesides, Luther Barnhart, Chapel Carter, and Portia Yount. Our members of the foundation, I see Russ Martin, the chair here, and all members of the foundation who have joined us. I thank those who have come to us from the public service. I thank uh, Mayor Charles Worley, who is here. I see Carl Mumpower of the city council is here. I see that Richard Faulkner from Congressman Taylor's office has joined us, and Graham Field, Senator Dole's representative. Thank you to all of you for being here. I also want to acknowledge Lee Nichols, Clark, and Patterson, who designed this beautiful building, and M.B. Khan, who served as general contractor. And I recognize, most importantly, every member of the UNC Asheville family, the faculty, the staff, the students, the alumni who have contributed to make today possible through the years. And I thank the people of North Carolina who, have pl who placed in us their faith through passage of that bond referendum in 2000. This building is and always will be a tribute to all North Carolinians and their love of their university. And to the Highsmith family, Aline and John and Sandra and Edward and Mark and Becky. This signature building will always be a place that honors our signature chancellor, the man whose vision and conviction carries us always. Bill Highsmith will always be, will always be, the University of North Carolina at Asheville. And as a point of personal privilege, it will always remain the highest honor that I have had the chance to walk in his footsteps. And I would encourage everyone to visit the Union Gallery to see the wonderful display on Chancellor Highsmith that was prepared by our students, Laura DeProse, Holly O'Hane, and Laura Haig. They have done a terrific job. And as I note that, I also note behind me the preparation for what will be a wonderful mural of Raphael's School of Athens that our distinguished professor, Tucker Cook, will lead students in preparing in the months ahead. And isn't that, in the most profound way, the meaning of dedications such as this? In this time and in this place, all that we have been, all that we are, and all that we can be comes together. All of us joined, from Bill Highsmith to Laura DeProse, all of us joined in a seamless love of learning and a love that is seamless for the University of North Carolina at Asheville. In this time and place, the hard work of generations joined in the achievement of this moment and the promise of moments yet to come. In this time and at this place, a proud tradition meets a future without limits. And to each of you, as always in the most special way, who are students, your experience of liberal learning will be immeasurably richer because those who preceded you sacrificed and worked to make this day possible. Now it is to you, now it is to you, to give this building life and carry forward to your successor generations a passion and a love of learning that is worthy of Bill Highsmith and all who preceded you. That's what today is about. Tradition and promise all joined together in a terrific building at a magical university in the spirit of a wonderful man of vision, determination, and achievement. And when we speak of vision, 
and determination and achievement, I can tell you today in the state of North Carolina, there's one person who embodies that in a very special way. This building would not be here but for the vision and the determination and the achievement of the finest president of any university in the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to introduce President Molly Corbett Brown. Thank you, Chancellor Mullen, for that very generous introduction. Uh, it is my great privilege to join all of you, the Chancellor, members of the Board of Governors, Adelaide Key, members of the Board of Trustees, most especially the Highsmith family, and the faculty, staff, and the students of UNC Asheville. This is an extraordinary day. It continues a new era of building and rebuilding and transformation for UNC Asheville under the sterling leadership of Chancellor Jim Mullen. And it underscores the vital growing role that this institution plays in the life of Asheville and all of Western North Carolina. It is so fitting that we take a few moments this morning to reflect upon the importance of this building and its namesake. I can tell you from the very first day I stepped foot visiting on the UNC Asheville campus, the matter of the rejuvenation and transformation of the Highsmith was one of the most visible and most important points that was made to me over and over again by the people from this campus. It is now a marvelous building, and it carries such great significance. It is a symbol of the life of this campus. It is the embodiment of years of planning and dreaming on the part of members of the UNCA family. And thanks to the generous support of the citizens of this state in November of 2000, we are able to see the reality and this transformation. It also pays great tribute to the memory of Chancellor William Highsmith, who shepherded, of course, this campus through its early transformation from a two-year to uh, a senior institution that is part of the University of North Carolina. Uh, when I visited in the gallery and saw the letter written by Chancellor Highsmith on the threshold of this experience, it opened that this is a time of great expectations. Ladies and gentlemen, friends of UNC Asheville, today is also a time of great expectations for UNC Asheville. It's a marvelous new facility, and I had a bit of a chance to look at the spaces for student organizations and for staff, the opportunity to have workplaces and, uh, <clears throat> and meeting places. I noticed the city market and understand that it is changing the way in which students gather and study in teams and have opportunities to socialize. And I looked at that marvelous uh, conference room for the students and turned to the chancellor and said, I was certain that student leaders at UNC Asheville now in the reflection of the School of Athens and in that fabulous room will definitely be able to ponder eternal verities in the Highsmith Union. The addition of, of square footage is very important but it is also the quality of this space and its transformation that is equally important. It is this building and all of the buildings that are part of the building program from the bonds that will help us carry out our mission to provide education for students that will prepare them for the workforce of today and the workforce of tomorrow, but even more importantly, for effective citizenship 
and leadership in our democracy. So I think this celebration is just a beginning. I know that over the life of this bond program, $50 million worth of construction will be invested in this campus, a marvelous uh, new building in science and multimedia will be under construction by the spring, and it will unfold before your very eyes. And many renovations and transformations of buildings and of infrastructure and the necessary support services. And we can hardly wait for the groundbreaking of the new signature building that will be the centerpiece for the entire academic thrust in health and wellness here at UNC Asheville. And we are so grateful to all of the members of the General Assembly and the, the determined leadership. Talk about a woman with vision, determination, and leadership. Uh, I'm looking at Representative Wilma Sherrill. Um, when that building becomes a part of this campus, it will infuse yet another $35 million worth of capital investment in UNC Asheville. A marvelous, marvelous statement about the importance of this university to this place and to the entire state. Uh, I want to express uh, my thanks to all of you for being here. Uh, under the leadership of Jim Mullen, I predict an even stronger and brighter future for UNC Asheville. Uh, I want to thank each and every one of you for your ongoing support of UNC Asheville. I want to express my warm congratulations to everyone that was part of Operation Highsmith. Uh, this is a great day, and it is a rare privilege for me to be here and to be a part of it. Thank you very much. Now we're going to cut the ribbon. So I would ask Sue McClinton, chair of the board, and Portia, where are you? To come forward. There you are, Portia. Thank you. To come forward and as president of student government. And we are going to try something here. We're going to have a little bit of a theatrical attempt here. So ride with us. We're going to run the ribbon around the room so that anyone who is within reach without doing bodily harm can reach out and, and join by uh, touching the ribbon. I think that's where we're headed. We'll wing it. And then I think we have... <laughs> this ought to get the job done, I think. Are we, uh, we ready? All right, perfect in the center. 